Hey, what's up, guys? And welcome back to Manx the Hills podcast, the podcast all about expat living, China, crazy life experiences, and more. Today, we're taking a quick look at current events in Xi'an, how the lockdown has affected us as a family, and what adventures await for the future of Max of the Hills podcasts. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode with your host Chris Parker on Manx of the Hills podcast. Guys, I just want to say a big happy Chinese New Year to everybody who is listening in and tuning in to this new podcast for the New Year of the Tiger 2022. It has been a crazy month. Last night we celebrated Chinese New Year here in China in Xi'an, and I have to say it was amazing. Obviously, there's been a lot of things going on here in Xi'an with the lockdown and things that we haven't been able to do and to travel. But I would just want to let everybody know that the lockdown here in Xi'an is now over, and we've been free. We've been allowed to go outside and travel for the past few days, if not close to a week now, which has been incredible. The lockdown here in China has been just gone over five weeks. It has absolutely worked, where we've now got zero cases citywide, and people are now returning back to normal. It will take some time to go back to the way things were before the outbreak happened here in the city, but hopefully things will return back to normal, and we'll be able to walk around outside without masks, freely going into places. And without having to scan our codes, check temperatures, all of that is in place to keep us safe and healthy, and to make sure that everybody has an amazing Chinese New Year. As of course, Chinese New Year is one of the biggest, you know, travel seasons within China. People going back home, people traveling to see friends and family, relatives. So hopefully, everybody has a safe and amazing holiday. So with the lockdown over, this has been amazing news not only to myself but also my family, especially for my two children. Who haven't been able to see their friends or to be able to even leave the apartment for the last five weeks? It's been five weeks since we've been in our apartment, guys, together as a family. And though the time has been incredibly special, we have had a few days where sometimes you just only wish you could go outside for a short walk, but that hasn't been possible. So the short walks have include many of us being in different rooms just to take five minutes out from each other before we regroup. And obviously, realize that we're going to be still in the same place for some time to come. Thankfully, that has all come to an end now, guys, and we've been able to travel. We've been able to go outside, go back to shopping malls, and my daughter and my son have been able to go out to the park, see their friends, and have a good time and enjoy the Chinese New Year holiday. Because unfortunately, we didn't really get to do much during Christmas other than stay inside our house. And Christmas for our family is a big deal. We celebrated three birthdays and Christmas all in such a short time period. There was a lot of things going on, a lot of emotions. Because of course, my kids want birthday parties, but that's something we weren't able to do this year. But hopefully, we'll be able to catch up、um, later on in the year and、uh, give them a nice surprise for their birthday, as well as Christmas as well. Of course, we're still being safe. Still gotta, you know, wash your hands daily. You know, wear your masks before you go out. Don't go inside your apartment with the shoes that you wore outside. Just general health advice to keep not only yourself but also others around you and especially your family safe because there's still a virus out there. Tianjin, our home city where we've come from, is still under some sort of lockdown. It's not a citywide lockdown that we experienced here in Xi'an, but it is some sort of lockdown in Tianjin in certain community areas where cases have come up recently in the city. But we do hope and pray that Tianjin resolves all those cases soon, and then that city can return back to normal as well. So, family update for everybody who tunes in.、Um, we are now. Free. We are now able to travel the city, as you know, and hopefully we'll be able to travel a little bit more during Chinese New Year. We do have plans to obviously spend a lot of time together outside the house. We do hope to enjoy Chinese New Year and visit a few places in the city that we weren't able to visit during the lockdown, and hopefully maybe have a few staycations, which would be nice, and especially for our children, who I know desperately want to go to a hotel. Um, so it, we're very lucky to have some amazing places to stay here in the city. So hopefully, fingers crossed, everything goes well. There's no more restrictions or no more changes in the quarantine measures. 
and we'll be able to enjoy some time together as a family. As to the podcast updates, I just want to give you all a brief update as to what's to come in the podcast. So the podcast is now officially launched. We've now officially launched two full podcasts, uh, both last Friday and the Friday before that. They were both hosted online. Um, it's not always the best, but due to the lockdown, that's the, the best we've been able to, to achieve at the moment. But this has been also a journey for me to develop not only my own skills, but also to develop skills that I've never even touched on before. So starting the podcast for me was a journey to meet people, to discuss what they talk about. You know, I work with a lot of interesting uh, friends and colleagues that have crazy stories, amazing stories that they want to, they're very happy and willing to share with you guys online. And I want to grab that story and share it with you. So if you ever do make the decision to leave the comfort of, you know, whatever you're doing or to leave your home or to decide to travel abroad, that you can listen to these people, get their experience, get their knowledge and hear how they did it, myself included. But of course, I want to put them online in a way that will represent well to the viewers, to the listeners. That in turn means that I need to develop my skills and that means a video editing, audio editing, you know, animations, graphics and all these things that I'm now learning that I don't tend to use in my daily work. So I want to develop these skills so that I can bring their message to you in a high quality manner. Of course, I'm still learning. I'm still trying to get to grips with YouTube. I mean, YouTube is an animal, an absolute beast, but especially on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, to try and put out daily, if not weekly notices to you guys so you can see what's to come and what am I doing along this journey. Audio editing, video editing, sound editing, graphics design, all of these take amount of time. A lot of effort goes into this. So anybody who's on a similar journey, I fully appreciate what you're doing. The journey to create anything is not easy. It really isn't. It takes hard time. It takes dedication, motivation. And for you to stay on that path is challenging enough without having the extra things that you need to do. Family, daily work, trying to do something by yourself, starting a side projects such as a podcast myself included i have a full-time job i work between you know anywhere from 12 to 18 hour days depending on the workload that i'm doing i do web design i work in it i manage an international school here in xian and on top of that i've got my family and i'm also trying to build something that i want to do for the community here in china the expert community by sharing these stories of expats who are living in China and have these stories to tell the world, not only the people here in China, but for you guys online. So you can listen and learn and to kind of get a bird's eye view as to the experience that we all go through when we decide to travel and live abroad. So of course these podcasts take a lot of time. So guys, I appreciate everybody's support along this journey. This is a very short message, just an update message to the community who's following me. And I really appreciate everybody's support as we move forward with Manx as the Hills podcast or Manx podcast as it's come to be more commonly known. I really appreciate all the messages of support and sharing the videos and the content I'm creating. And I hope over time that I look back not only from this year till next year, but I look back how far I've come. I've grown in not only the skills that I've developed, but also the content that I'm putting out there for you. And like any creator, things will only get better. With all that, guys, I hope everybody is well. I hope everyone has a fantastic Chinese New Year, no matter where you are. Have a fantastic year of the tiger. You know, the tiger is a symbol of strength, peace, love. And I hope everybody strives to make 2022 your year. So until next time, guys, I hope everybody has a fantastic week. Enjoy yourselves. Make sure you strive every day to achieve something. Make yourself grow, learn something, develop like many others around you. And you'll start to see a huge change, not only in your own environment, but the people around you start to change as well. I hope to see you very soon in another podcast coming this Friday. Stay tuned, be safe, be healthy. And this is Chris Parker signing off. Bye-bye, everybody. Have a great 2022 Year of the Tiger. Hey, thanks for joining us on Manx as the Hills podcast. Make sure to visit our website at manxpodcast.com. And if you enjoy the show, please subscribe to our Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube.
Be sure to tune in next week for our latest podcast episode.